Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, and in this video, I want to go through some keyword research to help you get more traffic to your website, to your blog post specifically. But before we begin, I want to thank Rangemaster. Rangemaster is the Overdoor Pulley guys. They have been producing products really as long as I've been a therapist and longer. They have an amazing track record behind them, and Rangemaster is wanting to connect with more PTs and OTs to help us. The professionals get the the products we need and more importantly get those products into the hands pun intended of the people who need it most our patients so guys range masters working with me on a couple projects this is one of them they're sponsoring this video and i just want to say thank you for the support because without their support i could not produce the free content that you guys are about to consume so in this video we're going to take a look at a post that I put up on my website I don't even know we'll, we'll see how long ago it's it's been a while and it's just not gaining any traction it's not getting any visits relative to other posts on the same website we're gonna take a look at what Google sees I'm going to show you some free tools that you can use to kind of get an assessment an idea of what Google sees for keywords and maybe we can put a little more emphasis on those keywords so let's share the screen there is our sponsor, Rangemaster. Um, and what I did a while back was I created this blog post Seven Stretches, I'm um, sorry, Seven Stretching and Strengthening Exercises for Frozen Shoulder. This is based on a Harvard Health Publishing article that was out and it's, it's still out and popular on Google search. Um, I wanted to take the exercises from that, create videos for those exercises, then upload those videos to my YouTube channel. You can see here, we basically have the seven exercises. We've got pendulums, towel stretch, finger walk, cross body stretch, armpit stretch, and resisted internal external rotation. Now what's interesting about this is, regardless of whether I as a therapist agree with these exercises or not. These are kind of universally accepted within the profession. They're backed by research. They're backed by the Harvard medical name. So when I want to put content out there that people, the general consumer might find, I want something that has backing behind it. And this is a great option for that. So first, let's take a look at some of the metrics. Let's see what this website is actually doing. Um, one of my favorite ways to do that is copy the URL, go into your uh, Google search console. If you have a website, you absolutely need to have Google search console working to track metrics for your website. So here we are. This is my total therapy solutions. This is my clinic website. My clinic website is primarily knee replacement, but I've got the occasional shoulder post up there. You can see, let's take a look at site-wide, last three months, 25,800 8, 25, clicks. We've got 482,000 impressions. That's site-wide. But I wanna look at that specific page. So the way Google Search Console works is right up here, it says new. If I click on that and I go to page, I can paste the URL for that specific page and I can click apply. And now we can see for the past three months, we've had 1,190 impressions for that page, but only nine clicks. That page is just not getting clicks. It's, it's being served up, just nobody's looking at it. Um, and we can see the impressions look like they're on the rise. The purple line is the impression. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go the last 12 months so you can see there was like no impressions up until right around June, mid-June impressions started going up. They're still going up. So this is the perfect time for me to leverage the impressions Google is giving me and make better content. So 12 clicks in that much time is just ridiculous. But if we come down here and we look at the queries that are showing up for uh, that specific page I arrange by impressions so Codman exercises frozen shoulder pillow that would be a great sponsored post that would be a great affiliate link um, pillow for frozen shoulder frozen shoulder stretches 
physical therapy exercises for frozen shoulder, you know, so these are all like 40 impressions, 43, 104, 157. I want to go with the top ones. Uh, Codman exercises, frozen shoulder pillow, and pillow for frozen shoulder. Now what's interesting is I just recorded a video. Let me show you guys this. I'm building a new shoulder channel. I'm, I just recorded a video talking about sleep positions, which would be perfect for this. So I'm going to go into YouTube Studio. I'm going to come in here to content. And this right here. So I published this video September 9th. Today is September 13th. So about four days ago, 122 views. It's, it's obviously not burning up the YouTube charts, but I'll show you down here. My most popular video on this channel right now is at 13,600 views and it's about shoulder pain worse at night the number one reason why your shoulder hurts worse at night. This is really gaining momentum and traction. So I want to leverage some of this to improve traffic to the blog post because the blog post is where we're going to get affiliate links, where we're going to sell our digital products or physical products, all of that stuff. So, okay, we know that we've got three great keywords we want to focus on. Codman exercise, frozen shoulder pillow, pillow for frozen shoulder. Now, if I go into Google Keyword Planner, Keyword Planner is totally free. You have to have a Google Ads account, but you can you don't have to pay have paid ads. You can just have the account that's sitting dormant. And let's use one of their tools here. It's still loading. Okay, so Keyword Planner what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the URL for the blog post again. I'm going to come in here, get search volume forecasts. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, let's go back, discover new keywords, and then start with a website. I'm going to paste the URL in that section. I'm going to go to use this page only, and I'm going to click get results. And what I believe happens in this case is Google scans the page and you can see right here, we've got 180 keywords available, keyword ideas based on the content from that page. And you can see right at the top, frozen shoulder exercises. I'm going to arrange these by average monthly search volume. So shoulder painful is you know 165,000 searches a month I'm probably not going to rank for that right away frozen shoulders 90,000 search volume a month stretching shoulders 33 so stretching shoulders will be an interesting one especially if I want to start to use products produced by range master I can use their shoulder pulleys they've got a stretch wand they've got some pretty cool stuff that I can promote create videos for and embed them into that blog post uh, strengthening knee exercises. That's interesting that Google would find that, but I think the reason why is because down here at the bottom, I've got all of these knee replacement videos and that's probably what it's seeing. What I need to do is get rid of those videos, get that um, off my blog post. Frozen shoulder exercises, knee exercises, shoulder exercises for pain, so you start to see, we've got a list of keywords that we can kind of use to target. And these keywords are coming from Google's kind of analysis of my page. Um, but I am going to probably go with the frozen shoulder, shoulder pain, physical therapy exercises, capsulitis, shoulder. Once we get, I wouldn't even mess with anything underneath a uh, thousand page views a month. It's just, you know, there's not enough search volume there for me to commit time to building that blog post. Best stretches for shoulders. That could be a great one. Low competition, thousand searches a month. Stretches for shoulders, people are always looking for. Um, best stretches for shoulder pain could be another option. So now what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to take the information I have here that I know Google is already kind of indicating, hey, this, this page has keywords associated with this list. I'm going to combine that. So let me see, frozen shoulder, also known as adhesive capsulitis, is, so I'm going to try something. The following seven exercises were originally published by, I've got that linked. In this post, I'll be sharing video demonstrations of each of the exercise, each exercise along with tips and tricks to improve. Now, this is an affiliate link right here. If anyone clicks on that, it's going to take you out to the Amazon store. Um, one of the things that I'm working on with Range Master is they may be able to provide me with a drop shipping so that if I wanted to combine a couple of their physical products with one of my digital products, I could sell a home shoulder course that is marketed on this, this page. People coming to it can buy my home program. I don't have to um, dispense or, or distribute the physical products. Range Master will do that for me. So when a customer, a prospect gets to this website, maybe they want to just buy the seven home exercise program, right? With bonus content. So for $25, I sell them my little videos on a Thinkific platform in an email. We, you know, there's a lot to be said for emailing email courses, um, low cost, easy access. It's just instant to set up. And then basically what happens is the consumer comes here, $25, they buy, I do an order into range master. They do a drop ship for the physical product to the client. I make, I don't know, I'm going to say $15 on the digital content and range master collects the $10 for the shoulder pulley. Or maybe I make $10 and they get $15 because of shipping and handling. Whatever the, the price arrangement is, the idea is that I don't want to mess with logistics. I don't want to mess with packaging and shipping and any of that stuff, but I do want to sell digital products. So if I can sell a digital course and they can handle the hardware, um, I think that's the way to go. So guys, I'm going to do some work on this. I will share an update when it's available and I'll look at how the metrics are changing. But if you want more information about either doing something like this for your own website, doing something like this, working with suppliers, manufacturers, a company like Range Master to handle the logistics of shipping, um, just let me know. Whatever content you guys want, I am more than happy to produce it. I'll catch you guys on the next video.